Hello friends, in this video, we have share, new PHP project on, point of sale system. PHP point of sale system is mainly used for, managing the inventory of store. In this project, we have made point of sale system for, cafe or restaurant. In which, user can easily create order, by touch screen, and order will be created. Here in this video, we will show you, how to download, this point of sale system. And then after, we will show you, how to run, this point of sale system, in local computer. And lastly, we will show you, different functionality of this, point of sale system. Now first, we have show you, where to download this, point of sale system. So first for download source code of this system, so we have to goes into webslesson.info website. And here, we can see that red color menu with name like PHP project. So we have to click on this menu. So here, we can see that list of PHP and Node.js project, which are available with download full source code. And here, we want to download PHP point of sale system source code. So we have to click on this link. Here, we can see that, PHP point of sale system article has been load, in the browser. And under this article, we can find different objectives of this system. Overview of this system, different module of this system, and database design of this system. Now for download source code, so here, we can see, source code download link. So we have to click on this link, so here, we can see that, web page has been redirect to another web page. And here, for download source code, we have to enter correct email address, to download, source code of point of sale system. So here, we have enter, correct email address, and after this, we have to click on this, source code download button. So after enter correct email address, and click on button, so here, we can see that, source code download link has been appear, on web page. So we have click on this link, and here we can see that, downloading of source code has been started. And here, we can see that, source code has been downloaded, in our computer. Next we want to extract this code, but here, we can see that, this source code file has been protected, with password. So for this, we have to again goes to, point of sale system post, and here, we can see, get source code password link. So we have to click on this link, so it has again redirect us to, another web page. And here also, we have to enter correct email address, so here, we have enter correct email address details. And then after, we have click on button, so here, we can see that. Password has been appear on web page, so we have copy this password. Now here, we have tried to extract this code, so again it has asked for password. Now we have enter password, which is get from web's lesson website. And here, source code has been successfully extracted. Now we have copied this source code into tutorial directory, from where, we have run, our PHP code, so this way, we can download, and extract source code. Next we want show you, how to set up, this point of sale system, in our local computer. So here, in browser, we have to open, base url of this point of sale system so here we can see that point of sale system installation page has been load on web page and here it has asked for enter database host name database name database user and database password details so here we have one by one enter all details and in database password you have to enter your PHP My Admin database password. After define all details, 
Now we have to click on install button. So after click on install button. And now it has asked for setup admin account and ask for enter admin email and password details. So for setup admin account, we have entered this details one by one. And after this, we have click on submit button. So after click on submit button, here we can see that next step has been appear on web page and here we have to define cafe or restaurant configuration details like name address phone number email address opening time closing time tax rate currency and logo details so we have to one by one define this all details and lastly we have to select logo of restaurant or cafe. And then after, we have to click on submit button and after click on system button, here we can see that point of sale system setup is complete and it has redirect us to admin login page. Now here in my SQL database, here we can see that Point of sale database has been created and under this database we can see that table has been also created so this way we can set up point of sale system in our computer. Now we have show you different functionality and features of this point of sale system. So this point of sale system is multi user system that means there is one admin and multiple sub user can run this system. In this system Admin can control complete system and sub user can create an order under this point of sale system. So first we have show you admin side functionality of this system. So here we can see login page and from this page admin and sub user can log in under this system. So here we have enter admin login details one by one. And after this, we have click on login button. So here, we can see that admin has been able to log in under this system and redirect to dashboard page. On dashboard page, admin can view complete analytics of point of sale system. In analytics data, admin can view total user of this system, total category added under this system, total product added under this system, and total sales amount. We can see from this dashboard page. On this page, admin can also view last several days sales data in graphical format and also view sales data of different category. Now at right side, we have to click on user icon. So one drop down menu has been appear on web page with profile and logout link. Now for change profile details, we have to click on this profile link and here Profile form has been appear. And here, profile page appear with pre filled admin name and email details. And here, admin can change profile details by click on this submit button. Next, we have to click on category link. So here, we can see that category management web page has been loaded in the browser. And from this page, Admin can add new category data by click on this add button. So here add category form has been display and here we have to enter category name details. And by click on this add button category data has been added under this system. After this admin can also edit category data by click on this edit button. So edit form has been display with fill form data. And here, admin can change category name details or admin can also change category status also. Suppose admin has disabled category status, then that category we cannot be used under this system. After this, we have click on user link. So user management web page has been loaded on web page. Under this system, admin can add new user by click on this add button. So here, we can see that 
new user form has been appear on web page and by fill this form data admin can add new user under this system so for add new user admin has to fill all form field one by one and once user has been added under this system then that user account will be automatically created under this system and that user can log in under this system so here we can see that new user has been added under this system so this way admin can add new user under this system after adding user data under this system now for edit existing user data we have to click on this edit button so here edit form has been appear with filled user details and here admin can make necessary changes and edit user data here admin can also disable login of any user by select disable status and click on edit button then that user login will be disabled and that user will not be able to login under this system until that user status has been changed to enable so this way admin can manage user data and now we have to click on product link under this point of sale system so here we can see that product management page has been load and here admin can manage product data now for add new product data so we have to click on add button so here add product page has been load here admin has to define product category product name product price and product image also after define all details we have to click on submit button so after click on submit button then product data will be added under this system under this system admin can also make necessary changes in product data under this system by click on this edit button so edit product data form will be appear and admin can change product details and under edit product data and admin can also change product status like disable or enable from this edit form also so from this product management page admin can add new product and edit existing product data also now for change admin password we have to click on change password link so here change password form has been appear and from this form admin can change their admin password details by entering current password and new password now we have moved to main part of this point of sale system and main part of this system is create order so we have click on order link so here we can see that create order page has been load and this page can by access by both user that means user can also create order from this page and now on this page we can see that all product has been load at the left side of web and for filter product data here we can see that all category has been list here suppose we want to see only chinese item so we have click on this chinese category so now only chinese item has been display on web page so this way we can filter product according to category now we have show you how to add item in order cart so for add item into cart so we have to simply click on item and item will be added into cart and when we have add item into cart then it will automatically calculate complete order calculation with taxes under this cart we can add multiple item also and when multiple item added then order total will be automatically calculated and from this cart we can also remove item from cart so under this point of sale system we have implement this automatic cart feature also which is main functionality of this system now for create order we have to click on this create button so after click on button and order has been created and order form will be reset now for view order history data so we have to click on this order history button so here we can see that all order invoice data has been load and under this system admin or user can remove order invoice data by click on this remove button also and for print invoice we have to click on this pdf button so here we can see that 
order invoice has been opened in PDF format. And from this, we can take a print of an invoice, so this way we can generate invoice under this point of sale system. Now we have click on dashboard link, so here, we can see that point of sale system analytics data. And here, we can see that sale amount has been changed, and in graphical chart, data has been changed also. So this is complete functionality of this PHP point of sale system, and with the help of this system, merchants can keep a more accurate recorder of sales and inventory data. Additionally, point of sale management system are very versatile, and can be used by a wide range of businesses, from small coffee shops to large restaurant. If you like this PHP application, so please like this video, and if you have any suggestion, then you can write your suggestion in comment, we will reply on suggestion, and we will look forward into, and lastly do not forget to subscribe this channel, for get update of upcoming tutorial video, thanks for watching this video.